Hi guys, going to show you how to make some little feathered trailer hook, treble hooks for your top water lures, jerk baits, um, spoons, things like that. So I've been making them this evening. Um, my box was literally down to one treble hook left. So I just made a bunch. Um, and the reason why I like to make my own is you can obviously play with different colors. I didn't get too creative here other than adding some chartreuse to a couple of them, but different hooks for different baits. Um, you know, some of these are 2X extra strong. Some of them are small that I'll use maybe on spy baits or little jerk baits, but you can basically make these, these trailers up um, on any hook that you want. So these are really easy. Um, I've got, you know, I carry a lot of treble hooks with me. Uh, I keep everything in this big Plano Edge box. And this one I've got kind of labeled with a lot of the hooks that I use, you know, most often. So we're just going to go with a 2X Gammy number four. Use that on a lot of my poppers, um, walking baits, that sort of thing. So you want to get a vise, put the hook in the vise just like that. And then I just take the thread and start wrapping it. And I, I never tie any knots doing this. I just wrap over my tag end. So that's good. Just, just like that, I'll trim that tag end off. You always want to keep a bucket handy just to put your scraps in. Um, you know, I've, I was tying some marabou jigs earlier. Uh, so the first thing I like to do is just put a little bit of flash some kind of flashy stuff, flashaboo. I don't even know what this is, but I got all kinds of different stuff. And you really don't need much. If you put too much, it overpowers it, but that's like five or six strands, you can see. So I'm gonna lay that onto the shank of the hook. I always put this on first, and then I'm gonna just give like six or eight wraps. So that's on there. And then I take my scissors, and I'll just trim off that little tag end. Good pair of sharp scissors is handy for this. And then I've got a bunch of feathers just kind of loose here. So some of them aren't that good. You want ones that aren't like too thick and that are nice and straight, just like that. So we're going to use that one. So I like to sort of measure, you know, that's about how much I want to put on there. So I'm going to cut the sort of root end of the feather off. These are just chicken feathers. They're really cheap. You can buy them in any color you want. And then I'm just going to tie it, tie a little bit, you know, do eight or ten wraps, and that's on there. Then I'm going to take the hook, just switch it to the next spot, and the other two feathers I'm going to do are going to be white. So we'll trim that. And you just kind of want to get it on there nice and straight. A couple wraps, and one more. That's a nice. Nice little end on that one. Same, another eight or 10 wraps. And then I'm pretty well done now, so I'm gonna do a few extra, just get it looking nice and neat and pretty. And uh, all I use is clear nail polish now. And just sort of get all the, so it's not like gonna really gob all over it, but just sort of coat the thread with clear nail polish and people that are good at tying flies and that they'll always tie a knot in the end but I've tied literally hundreds of these thousands of marabou jigs and I just I just glue them with the thread cut it and then you just want to have a place to kind of hang it after let it dry for a minute or two and you have yourself a nice treble hook feathered treble hook that you can put on your top waters and your jerk bait.